Hey, JT Nesbitt, Curtis Design Studio, located in New Orleans, Louisiana. I just wanted to take a minute and go over our carbon composite structural suspension member. Uh, as you can see, these are all the same part, right? So we've got part number one, quantity four. And what dictates where these go are the different style of inserts that we have for them. So let's, let's uh, have a quick look at what, what, how this system works. Here's our blade, right? You'll notice that our, we have a, a, a root that goes up inside of this part that's bonded and then fastened with four fasteners. So these parts are all universal. Now, if we want to take this girder blade and make this a girder blade that bears a break, I would select this dropout. It's exactly the same system. Got this set up so that it fits inside of here with a bonding agent. So we put adhesive. structural adhesive and then hardware and now we're set up for a for a front uh, right hand side that has the brake caliper we'll put in right hand side eccentric and right high, right hand side front trail adjuster that is a right hand side girder blade now our dropouts to these guys are already built with the wheel as pre-assemblies. All of these dropouts are all exactly the same and they all fasten into the girder blade like this with long M6s. This part also can bear color. So these uh, pinstripes can be done in any color of the rainbow, any material, and any texture. They're bonded into the blade if you choose. Here's our bearings. These are the wheel bearings. And if this is a front girder blade, which it is, then we use this needle roller bearing pressed into this location. That's our system. Totally modular. One part, four places. Thanks for tuning in.